Hello everyone, my name is Kansas Shell and welcome to Black Pinup's YouTube channel. So, Happy New Year! Yeah. Those first few weeks. Man. Make it okay? <laughs> that is why I want to move to the moon. <laughs> Be left alone. Norma Jean just looked at me like, what about me? <laughs> Norma Jean just like staring at me. She's like, what about me? You can come too, Norma Jean and Frank Sinatra and Ava Gardner too, <laughs> my dog. So, um, goodness gosh. So, um, today I'm going to show you my vintage fur collection. Now I have a lot of fur. Oh my goodness. I have been collecting fur since 2010. I started when I made my first vintage fur stole. I named her Dorothy Danneridge. I was living in North Hollywood, California, when I was going to school for fashion design. And it's really funny because my sister and I kind of got into it because at the time I was a meat eater and then I became a vegetarian. And she's like, how can you be a vegetarian and still want to wear fur? And I'm like, it's vintage. <laughs> it died a long time ago. And um, so the fashion industry has been getting away from fur, which is good. But now they're going to vintage fur. The thing is, is that that's made of plastic. And so, as you know, the world is trying to get away from plastic. But plastic is uh, filling up the landfills and the ocean is killing our wildlife as well. And so with vintage fur, well, I mean, I'm sorry, with faux fur, since that's made of plastic, it takes thousands of years to disintegrate. And um, the Eye Effect is a YouTube channel, and she goes into more detail about that. And I'll also link a couple of articles about how uh, faux fur is not good for the environment. So it's really good. I don't even like the way it feels. It just feels so blah. Ugh. I love my vintage uh, fur. It's in great condition. I have fur from the 1920s and I have named them all and um, it makes me feel warm. It also makes me feel that much closer to Betty Davis. So, <laughs> and uh, I've named them after movie stars, of course. So I'm going to show you my beautiful vintage fur collection. And, um, oh, if anyone wants to know, yes, I am now a pescatarian. So I went from uh, being a meat eater to um, a vegetarian, to being a vegan, to being a vegetarian, to now I'm a pescatarian. So that is the person that eats fruits and vegetables and seafood. But for me, it's sometimes a sporadic. Sometimes I eat seafood, sometimes I don't. So it's not consistent, but... <laughs> but anyway, so I am going to show you my vintage fur collection. So let's get into the video. So this is my uh, first fur stole that I got when I moved to Oklahoma City in 2016. I named her Dorothy Danridge. And she's in excellent condition fur-wise. Uh, I'm not going to show you the lining because that needs to be repaired. So um, I'm not going to share that to you, but there are inside pockets, which I really like. I was kind of bummed though because I wanted the pockets to be on the outside, but as you're seeing, um, the pockets are on the inside, so that is convenient for me. But uh, it's a really beautiful color, and I just fell in love with it when I first saw it. And it's really warm, and it's just one of those stoves that goes with it. And next up is this muff that I got off the Etsy. Uh, I believe it's like $25. And uh, I haven't had a chance to uh, use it yet. But uh, I got it now probably in 2016 as well. And uh, it keeps my hands warm. It is wonderful. I love it. It's really cute. And um, I love it. I also named that Dorothy Danish as well. And I believe it's from the 1940s. This is really a popular look in the 1940s as well. And this beautiful blonde camel color first still was from the 50s. I named her um, Grace after Grace Kelly. I got her for Etsy a few years ago. 
and she's really short, but she has pockets in the front, and she's in excellent condition. I think she's about thirty dollars, and um, I wore her in Vegas with the red pack bag. So she's really great for um, like the springtime, like it's a little chilly at night, and um, it went great with my little black dress that I wore in Vegas. You know, a beautiful color, excellent condition. I'm just happy that they uh, keep these in great condition. Before they, uh, and this is my first ever vintage first sale. I got off of a website called Blue Velvet Vintage. They sold um, vintage inspired and vintage clothing and dresses. And this is great quality. Just like the silver screen, uh, maybe star. Just I love the color. That's why I named the Grace Kelly. And the lining is beautiful. I've had her for years. I bought her in 2012. I love the collar in excellent condition. And I believe she was just $80. She has pockets in the front. It's so beautiful. It's my absolute favorite. And I just, I love it. Very gorgeous. Very soft. And I love the color that goes with it. But especially the pockets in the front. Very beautiful purse. And this is my faux fur stole. Yes, faux fur. Uh, this is Dorothy Danridge. I made this, I believe, in 2011. Uh, this is named Ruth Danridge. I was living in North Hollywood, California, and I wanted something to go with my Marilyn Rose white seven year itch inspired dress. So I made this. I got it from downtown LA. I don't know what those start spots are, but I keep it for sentimental value reasons. Look at the lining. So, first time ever making a first though in my lap. But I love it and I keep it for sentimental reasons. Yeah, I won't let go of it. My thing. Worth the damage. So this one is from my favorite store and I've only say one of two. It's from Back Rannies. And um, it is from the 50s as well. It is so beautiful. I love the color. The lining is impeccable, of course. Um, I believe it was just $40. And um, when I saw it, I just had to get it. It's just a beautiful color. Unfortunately, I've only worn it once since I bought it about four years ago. It's just, I haven't had a place to wear it, but I love it. I mean, look at that. The fur is just magnificent. But I do plan to wear it uh, very soon. And I've paired it with elbow length gloves. It is a very beautiful piece. This coat I bought from Bad Grannies. It is from the 50s. It is wool and has a fur trim collar. This is in delicate condition because I have to get the lining fixed, so I will not be showing you the inside of the coat, but it is in a beautiful condition on the outside. Um, I do need to fix that little hook and eye, I just need to re-thread it, but um, it is in really great condition. It, it keeps me very warm. Um, the lining, from what I'm going to show you, just a little bit of it, it is gold. A very beautiful lining as you can see that's all I'm going to show you <laughs> because uh, the rest just needs to be um, it's just mainly in the sleeves area just needs to be fixed uh, re-sewn but it is a very beautiful piece it's very thick and it keeps me warm and I just love it it is such a gorgeous coat and I'm so thankful to Di Harris at Bad Grannies in Oklahoma City if you're ever in Oklahoma City make sure you stop there and say that's in here the next one is from, I believe it's Bag Rainies also. Um, this is a white 
um, fur coat. This is my first fur coat. It's made in China. I believe it's all rabbit fur. And um, it sheds a lot, so I have to have it tumbled. And um, so that's what happens whenever you get a, a fur coat or a fur sole and it sheds a lot, you have to have it tumbled so that it can stop the shedding. It's an excellent condition. Oh, I'm sorry, this isn't from Bad Grannies. Uh, I got it in Texas um, in Deep Ellum and it was only $40. So it is a very beautiful white coat and I named her Joan Crawford because I feel like I have white Joan Crawford in this with the shoulder pads but um, it is a very beautiful coat. It keeps me warm and I love it. I just need to get her tumbled. <laughs> In this beautiful piece, I have named her Jackie. This is uh, Lily St. Anne. It was designed after the gorgeous Jacqueline Kennedy. Uh, she had a similar coat from her inauguration coat uh, in 1961. I love this coat. It is 100% wool. It has a beautiful uh, fur trim, um, open sleeve. A cuff and it is just gorgeous. Um, I got this at Digit as a trade and um, I saw it and I had to have it. It is so beautiful and it is one of my favorite pieces. It has a few moth eaten um, holes but you can't really tell unless you're up close but Aside from that, it is in excellent condition, and it is definitely a statement piece, and I absolutely love it. And this is Mildred Pierce, named after the movie. It is definitely a Joan Crawford uh, coat. I bought this off of eBay a few years ago. It was only $50. It is in excellent condition. I love the elastic. Uh, sleeves keeps my arms warm. It is in such excellent condition. The coat is gorgeous. I always want a full, fur length, <laughs> full, full length uh, coat, fur coat, and I got it, and it is just amazing. Look at the lining on this. It is just remarkable. Um, everything about it is in just perfect condition. I just, I have no complaints. eBay and Etsy and antique stores are where I get my fur coats and stoles and I suggest you do the same because they, you just have to really do your research on looking at the pictures and asking questions because it's, this is an excellent condition and I wear it often during the winter time. And this stole a uh, wraparound little capelet is called Dotty Jean. I cannot remember where I found this, but I bought it. It is uh, real, I believe it's rabbit fur also. And um, it's just something that I found. I think it was uh, 20 or $25. So I bought it and I just kind of play around with it. It depends on how I'm feeling. Um, sometimes we're over the shoulder, sometimes I just have it certain ways. It just depends on the mood and the look that I'm going for, but it's a cute little wrap around. And here is the last look of my vintage fur collection. I am wearing the Barb's, uh, named at the Barb's Stanwick, and my Meal Trip Pierce hat, perhaps. So, um, I actually bought this a few years ago at a consignment store, and this was only $20. This is from the 1920s. 
And um, named after one of my favorite actresses, Barbara Stanwyck. I saw her wear these in a movie, as well as Nora Bacall. She also wore these. Uh, and How to Marry a Millionaire, she wore a suit. So I saw it, and uh, the lady at the store said, do you want these? And I was like, yes, I do. My mom used to have them uh, when I was a kid, and I was kind of scared of them because I've never saw anything like them. But um, yeah, so I bought them, and one day I'm going to get like a little hook. I did. There were hooks with them, but they broke because they were so fragile. But um, I will get a little hook to hook them up to, so I can uh, wrap them around my shoulder. But I have worn them a few times, just hanging off my shoulder. Is that? And I um, also have the Mildred Pierce hat, is what I call it. Um, I have worn that with my fur coat. And uh, it goes perfectly well with my coat as well as barbs. And it uh, keeps my, hat, um, my head nice and warm. As you can tell, it's in excellent condition. And I got this at Bad Granny's for, I believe, like $15. I mean, look how beautiful the inside is. I mean, people really took great care of their... Um, hats and everything and it was just in great condition so that is it that is my vintage fur collection so that was my vintage fur collection i hope you enjoyed it um if you did like comment and subscribe you can also follow me on instagram at black pinups magazine my facebook at black pinups and twitter at black underscore pen underscore ups that is not my fault Black Queen is already taken on Twitter. And I will work on giving you more content. It's just my life has been crazy. So I'm going to work on giving you like three to four videos a month. So it's just, it's been really insane in my life. So there you go. But I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you on the next one.